everyone. I just finished doing my skincare for my face video and now I wanted to share what I use for my body. And I definitely don't spend as much time researching or taking care of the skincare when it comes to my body as much as I do with my face and I admit I do need to work on that a lot and recently I started looking into things and figuring out what works best for the issues that I have so I wanted to share that with you. So one of the things that bugs me is my dry flaky skin and of course if I were exfoliating and moisturizing like I should I wouldn't have this problem and drinking enough water. I feel like I constantly am drinking water but it's not enough. I know I need to be drinking twice as much as I should and I just don't have enough time, hours in a day to drink that much water. I don't know if that's just me but I just feel that the amount of water that I'm supposed to be drinking is impossible to drink. <laughs> so I have to be like with an IV of water the entire day to be completely hydrated but that's a topic for another video. So that's one tip. Drink water. Drink enough water. And I will leave a link because you should be, the amount of ounces that you should be drinking is linked to your body weight. So I will leave a link to that so that you can see how much water you should be drinking because drinking enough water and staying hydrated is essential to having good skin. So. I mean, I know there's like a ton of things that affect your skin, like stress, the environment, what you eat, but drinking enough water will definitely help, at least. And it's just good for your health. Anyway, just makes sense. So, dry flaky skin. My favorite body scrub ever is the Lush Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I do not use this on my face. It is way too gritty, in my opinion, for you to use on your face. But for my body, it is amazing. The chunkier, the better is what I like. And it just smells good and it just is amazing. And my skin feels so soft after I use it. And right after I use this, I shave and you will just have the most silkiest skin ever. It is pricey though. When I went to buy this, I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was almost $40. And when I was at the register and the... Uh, person told me how much it was I was like what but it is so worth it and it lasts a long time because it's not like I use it every day I use it a few times a week and you know over time it's not that much but like it was like sticker shock oh my god but it is so good so worth it uh, let's see what do they say here it is a coarse and fine sea salt scrub with organic lime juice to brighten and avocado butter to soften so um, really great stuff. Highly recommend it. Um, and then to shower, I use this Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. The one that I'm using is the 18-in-1 Hemp Almond Pure Castile Soap with organic oils. I'm sorry if I butchered any of that pronunciation. But this stuff is really good. A little bit goes a long way. Use this as a body wash. Use this to shave my legs. It'll build a really nice lather. Um, so the reason why I use this is because I was reading online somewhere that this is good for keratosis pilaris. So that is, you know, like those, um, that kind of bumpy texture you can get behind your legs or like on your knees or something like that. Chicken skin. So I have that obviously behind my legs, like behind my thighs. It's so annoying. And I read that this would be good for that. And I haven't been using it that long to really know if it made a difference, but I really do like how this makes my skin feel. I feel really clean after I use this and it's organic and that's kind of the theme for my kind of body skincare kind of thing. I'm trying to keep it simple because maybe that is what's making my skin freak out. Um, maybe natural stuff is the way to go. Less ingredients, less things. Um, so I really do enjoy the soap. Oh, and then the scent. It's the almond scent because I know I was wondering how it would smell when I was ordering it. And you will smell like a macaroon. If you eat macaroons, <laughs> this smells like a macaroon because I think it's made with almond paste or flour or whatever. Anyway, it smells like almonds and you will smell like a macaroon after you're done with this. So if you like smelling like a macaroon or like a macaroon smells, you will like this. 
So on the same macaroon kind of thing, coconut oil. So you will be smelling delicious by the time you're done if you're, you know, into that kind of scent. So this is what it looks like. Well, depending. If it's warm where you live, it will be straight up oil. But right now it's not warm in New York, so it looks like a solid. But as soon as you take some of it out and rub it into your skin, it'll liquefy immediately. And in the summertime, it will be a liquid pretty much. Um, so it's kind of weird because you'll never know what it's going to look like when you open it. It might be a solid, it might be liquefied depending on what the weather is that day. Um, so that's what I use, organic, unrefined coconut oil. So the purest form that you can find, that's what I use and that's what they recommend for your skin. Again, for that issue that I have where I suffer from getting like that bumpy skin, from shaving, ingrown hair, because I have curly hair, so you can get that kind of bumpiness after shaving and it's really infuriating. Um, but this is good. Again, organic things that aren't going to clog my pores is what I need. So this one is Barlene's Organic Oil Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. But again, as long as it's organic, unprocessed coconut oil, that's all you need. I've tried other brands. This is the one that I have right now. Next up is not organic, but it's so amazing. It's the Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant vitalizing body gel oil for healthy glowing skin with pure cocoa butter oh my god that was a lot to say that was a mouthful this stuff is incredible your skin will feel unreal it will feel so silky that's how my skin feels i keep saying your skin my skin feels unreal when i use this i don't know this is like magic to me it just feels so silky so I will do okay this is my secret to incredible soft skin so I will do the body scrub right so I'll do the body scrub this is the lush ocean salt do the body scrub then I'll shave my legs I'll use this or if I have a shave gel shaving gel I'll use that but I've been using this and um, I use that, I shave my legs, I get out of the shower, I will use this first. I'll use the coconut oil because I feel like this is organic, this is going to be the first thing to like sink into my skin. And then to seal it all off, I'll use the Vaseline. <laughs> so um, the Vaseline body oil gel. Oh my goodness. This will make my skin feel so amazing. I love it. As you can tell, like, all I can say is, oh my god, it feels so nice when I use this. So, I highly recommend this stuff. And you look, you know, amazing, glowy. It's just great, great stuff. And since we're on the topic of body care and everything, I'll share my favorite fragrance at the moment, which is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. I love this. It smells so good. It's sweet and spicy at the same time. It's how I describe it because I can't really use anything that smells like roses or flowers. That's just like a migraine right away. This doesn't give me a migraine without having to smell like a bakery, which is what I had to use. So I had to use really, really sweet things for me not to get a migraine. But this isn't that sweet and I still feel feminine and I smell nice and it doesn't bother me. So. That is what I love. I wish it lasted longer though. It doesn't last that long on me so I always have to carry a smaller spray or the rollerball in my purse to touch up but I really love that one so much. So that is what I use for my body. If you guys have any recommendations, any favorites of yours, leave them in a comment below. I will leave links to everything in the description box and if you aren't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that every time I post a new video you will be updated when you log into YouTube. And I will leave links to my Twitter, my Instagram, which I post all the time, and my Pinterest, which I've been pinning a lot lately. Links to my blog, everything in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.